Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. I'm out here at Sanctuary Ridge Golf Club in Claremont, Florida, and today I have a revolutionary golf drill to show you that's never been shown before, and it is something I've been using for 15 years, and it is absolutely incredible, so pay attention. As you're watching this video, I highly recommend you get a club out and you know, maybe swing and don't hit anything in your house if you're in your house, but try it out. I am going to talk about how to use your wrist correctly in the golf swing, how they hinge and how they unhinge in the downswing. So I've got a drill, I've got one drill that's just absolutely incredible. That's great for beginners to lower handicap players. You could actually play doing this drill. It's nothing in the rule book that says you can't. But it's definitely something that's great to practice with to ensure that you're using your wrist in the correct way. Uh, first of all, let's go over what the wrists do in the golf swing. Actually, you know, like I've, I've explained in a blog, um, it's like a hammer. Your wrist should go up and down, straight up and down like this. This is how the wrists work in the golf swing. Over the years of teaching, I've seen a lot of people, they tend to want to do this. So if you go like this on the back swing, when you come through it, it's going to cause a flip action, which there's no power there. You're not going to get the centerness of hit or the correct contact. So that's why the learning how to hinge it correctly is important. So I've got a drill. Uh, my mentor and I, over the years, we used this when we were at the Windermere Golf Center. Had a lot of success with this. People loved it. Not only does it help you with your wrist hinge, but also it will make you turn your big muscles, your shoulders, your chest, your core, your ribs, and the backswing. That, that's one of the side benefits of just hinging this thing up. As I go through this drill, you'll see it. So watch, I'm gonna demonstrate how you do it and how much you should hinge. And uh, let's take a look. As always, I like to set up, you know, with this for my feet. So I know my ball position in the middle. I got a nine iron. And then I got this set up for my swing plane. It's the same angle as this is set up. So when I go back, I want to make sure I'm down the line. I don't want to be inside. All right, so the drill, it goes like this. We get set up first, normal setup. And then what we're going to do, and it depends on your flexibility in your wrist. Some people can only do this. Max, I try to get maximum wrist hinge. Notice my forearms did not move. It's just my wrist and they're straight up and down and then simply from there what I'm going to do is turn back and then come down. So to start the swing, actually once I got my wrist up, I am going to have to turn my bigger muscles here, my shoulder, my chest, my ribs, my core to get behind the ball. So let's do one here. Now it's hit really well, dead straight. I don't try to kill it, I'm just trying to find the, feel the proper motion in doing this. But man, is it a great drill. And if you do it enough, what I've experienced with beginners is, you know, once they do this, they start out this way. You know, once they go to a normal swing, they know the position of what the wrist should feel like and they automatically will go there. So it's just a great drill, great learning drill to use. It's incredible, so I highly recommend you doing it. So we're gonna take a look at it from down the line. Okay, I wanted to show you how to do this, you know, from down the line so you can see the proper use of your wrist when you do this, because I've seen people fake this quite often. So I want to make sure you completely understand how to use the wrist in this. A lot of times I see people lift the forearms. I'm going to go through both looks. I'm going to do the correct way and also the incorrect way. And it's important you understand this. If you do this correct, this, like I said, this is a revolutionary drill. It's unbelievable. I've had huge success with it over the last 15 years in using this. It's just you got to make sure you do it right because if you do it wrong, that's, that's just not going to help you in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so I'm going to get set up here. My normal position. And what I want to happen, my wrists need to just lift up. That's how we want to do it. Okay, now if you're not comfortable doing that or if your wrists aren't flexible enough to do that much and you can only go to here, then so be it, that's fine. Use that for how you're gonna use your wrist to go up until you get more flexible in your wrist. Okay, so when you go here, 
then you can see you have to turn back and you can see I'm very connected here this is pointing at my belly it's down the line here it's a proper swing path and then my hinge is already there and it's gonna promote coming inside out because I'm very connected okay now what's incorrect and what I don't want to see here is that where you lift the forearms up that would be getting disconnected from the body and that will have some side effects that aren't good okay because the whole idea is to be connected we want to use our body turning and we want the wrist to be working in the correct fashion okay so here we go I'm going to show you how it looks it's set up hinge it up and that was hit really good Again, I, this drill just is one of my favorite. Please try it. You know, uh, you don't have to hit it hard. Start out with the sand wedge, hit it 50 yards. It's just to get the feel of, man, this is what my wrist did. And it's amazing. The amazing thing to me is right here, how am I gonna start my swing? Well, you have to turn everything together to do it. Hey, give it a try. I know you'll like it. If you have some problems with it, Send me a message, email me at barnhillgolf.com and I'd love to discuss this further.